Last time on Elden Ring? What have you been up to? Not much. Melina! <laughs> Let's go. Your seamster, Bok. He is always eager to see your return. Please, will you talk to him? When you can, I'm sure he would be much contented. She wants us to talk to Bok. Okay. She we cares. Have to build our social links with him? I guess, you okay. know? I mean. Not just any seamster. Better Chaos was a rough time. <laughs> Gonna need some help and some friendship and some therapy to get over those origins. So, uh, yeah, apparently. Sitting down here, right when he's nearby at that grace, she's like, oh yeah, go talk to him. So, uh, that's cool. So then you do. Bok the seamster, at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Oh? I'm sorry. Master, my apologies. Your wardrobe includes the garb of the old demigods. And I'm afraid I can't make adjustments to them. My mum told me once that a royal seamster would do them up in a jiffy. Just wait, master. Before long, I'll be that good too. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can give the gold sewing needle. <laughs> I swear on me, mum. Undeserving <laughs> self. Thank you kindly. But what on earth could it? Oh, well, amazing. I've never seen a golden needle. Not in all my life. Mm -hmm. With a spectacular royal crest to boot, are you certain that this is for me? Oh, I can hardly believe it. Have faith in me, Master. I'll polish my craft enough that I deserve this golden gift. I'll be the golden seamster. Bok. Now I'll be able to sew anything, even the threads of the demigods. Wow, wow, wow. Surely she'd be happy for you. Do you think that Mum would be pleased if she knew that I'm as good as any royal seamster now? Oh, it's still not enough. I need to learn how to sew from scratch like her. And that's it. Okay. Bach has goals. Yo, he wants to be the best. He will achieve the title of best genus. <laughs> Just you wait. Good luck. Good luck, Buck. We're hang we're all fighting for you. We're rooting for you. Um so, uh of the gar garment or garment alterations that uh lead to different lore of the ones I have this is the only one that had two different screens to it okay oh so you double checked all of them yep um, and I think and we had, we had already looked at it upon our first uh, at first glance but just uh, for uh, emphasis the second paragraph is what changes oh, the grimy outer mantle is made from withered reeds from the warrior's birthplace perhaps its comforts extend to nostalgic thoughts of home the land of reeds has long been locked in a miserable civil war, during which time it has remained alienated from cultures of its neighbors. Little wonder that the entire nation has succumbed to blood-soaked madness, or so it is said. Or yeah, so it is said, one. yeah. So, once, so this one, once you remove the reeds from the armor, mm. it becomes uh, a little bit of a, a truth bomb. Okay. About what's going on so over there. you should, like, alter everything? Well, I... I, I, I went and looked and this Everything, is yeah. this is the only one that had a change oh. to its lore uh for the others that there's altered armor that i cannot yet modify okay well once we get the ability to do so we can compare check yeah but uh, at the moment this is as far as we can cool. we can do uh, and then we had some of the stuff Ooh. last time a red letter a written request from Volcano Manor, disclosing the name of a tarnish to be hunted. As the final request, the letter is Vivid Red. Juno Huslo, Knight of Blood. He can be found in the mountaintops of the Giants. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. That's a cool name. 
Juno Oslo. The old Juno Oslo, eh? <laughs> all right, all right. Juno Oslo. Yeah. A uh, letter to Bernal. A written request from Volcano Manor addressed to Bernal disclosing the names of two tarnished to be hunted. V Vargram the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Willow. Both men can be found in the royal capital of Lane Dell. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. We know those names. We've seen those names. Yes, we have. Um, here, let's jump into games so we can do the comparison. But uh, there was also the depraved perfumer robe we picked up. Uh -huh. Robe worn by depraved perfumers. The embroidery on the apron is itself a curse upon the earth tree. These heresy-inclined perfumers imbibe their own spices to alter body and mind. Their slow descent into self-destruction is what earned them their name. So the depraved perfumers, as indicated by the, the summon we have, are not allowed to imbibe their own, or shouldn't be imbibing their own spices. But they do put themselves under protection, and you, admittedly. So maybe they only need to, maybe it's only allowed under like circumstances where there's someone else involved, but if you do it just for yourself, that's uh, a selfish blaspheme. Uh, interesting. So their design is straight up fuck the earth tree. Uh, yeah, don't get high on your own supply. Nope, never. <laughs> that's where it all goes down. <laughs> yeah, and then we also picked up the serpent bone blade. Nice, nice, sinister katana modeled after a serpent bone. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. And the skill is double slash. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want every time. <laughs> the music to like be at the end. In the back of my head, I'm playing it in my mind. Coming. I'm like, and uh, now. <laughs> Yes. All right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> Hell yeah. So that's, what's the plan? Because that's the end of the commercial break, you know? When you come back from the... <laughs> when you're, as you're coming back to the show, that's how you end it. Uh, Wilhelm was seen on the gear we picked up uh -huh. in the shack approaching Azur. The, uh, Errant Sorcerer Robe? Yes. Uh, let's get that pulled up here. Oh, we gotta drop those off, too. Uh... What am I... Errant Sorcerer Robe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, worn by Wilhelm, one of the first tarnished to visit the Round Table Hold, Silent Seeker of Sorcery. Gone so far as to make contact with the primeval current, Wilhelm led by his guidance into confrontation with his friend Vagram, and was said he was taken prisoner in Round Table Hold. Okay, so uh, we've got to go. We've been we've been assigned the mission to assassinate one of the first tarnished of the Round Table Hold, mm -hmm. who was taken prisoner. Interesting. I wonder what. The deal is with that. And they want us to find him in lane, though. So we got one here. Vagram. And... Deep in the unknown. This is way deep. Yeah. Okay. Get <laughs> to that one when the time comes, I suppose. Uh, huh. Well, that's curious, because the fact that these are so deep in... Um, so basically, uh, um, I've been, I, I, I've gotten word, people have basically been trying to subtly hint that like, hey, uh, you don't want to do Volcano, you don't want to complete Volcano Manor until you've completed the requests, that you should finish the requests before you decide to finish that area, otherwise you're going to miss out on some content. Um, now, uh, that's fine. I guess I expected it would all be within the relative area, but this looks like it's going to take a minute to get to, because, woof, yeah. So Volcano Manor is is going to have to sit then. Um, is it time for exploration? Do we have to go deep in there? Well, it just means that like you know we hit up um, 
we hit up a couple of what do we do? We ra- we rounded the, ba- the 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 area where we got past the giant outside, and then we stopped right as we got to uh, the grace where uh, that ghost was saying, uh, "Fuck you, Rikard." Yeah. Um, so we still have riding down that path, and then we also have like, you know, following up on everything with uh, Raya and Tanith and the back and forth between them. Um, I don't know which, what parts of Volcano Manor are like pushing forward. Right. What, you know, in terms of that content stuff. But if the goal is to not miss anything by completing these quests, then we started talking to them. Um, I didn't. Cool. I told Raya about Tanith's stuff. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell Tanith about Raya's stuff. Um. Or I didn't pick a choice on that yet, and then she talked about, of course, like what's happening in the in the in the the, the, the back room. Um, so uh, I'm content to just leave Volcano Manor alone until we get this shit taken care of. Okay. But clearly, this one feels like it's gonna be a minute, mm-hmm. you know. Um, also, got to talk to Patches too, just to see what's happening. Uh, so yeah, that means on hold. Volcano Manor will resume. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, a little bit later. Um, but as far as the lore goes, uh, did it specify Vagram? Okay, he was led into confrontation. And that's all it says. Mm-hmm. So we don't have about um, we don't have uh, any details on what exactly that means. Uh, but the note has them together. So this is interesting because it's a note with two names on it, which probably means if they're in conflict with each other, we might be jumping in. To see a fight between the two of them, and the mission is to kill them both. Mm. Two tarnished yeah. need to be hunted: yeah. Vagram and his friend. Right, but according to the lore, that that friend and him came into conflict. True. So this is going to be a little bit different from the single name assassination mm-hmm. missions we've been given. So that should be interesting. Okay. Well, in terms of uh, uh, what to do in the meantime, then, well, that that's an incentive to. Uh, certainly continue through Altus and see what we get there. Uh-huh. Um, and then, of course, there's always uh, going back to uh, the Comet. Right. Uh, which we promised Blythe we would reunite with him at. And then the Underground oh, boy. was done in Einzel for now. And then Shafra was just hard shit. It's red. We'll come back and look Oop, at that hard shit in a little bottom. bit. Yeah, we, we we took care of the big boy. We did, but and uh, and uh, I'm still I'm still a little bit high on that. I'm I'm, I'm still pretty happy <laughs> with that with that performance. But uh, the rest of the zone, I'm gonna take it as a sign to come back later. Yeah, you know, that's fair. Okay, so what do you have things to do? Yeah, so let's do a little bit of Altus scraping. Leave volcano for now, and then um, come back for uh, the comet, which should be somewhere in uh, Limgrave. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I have to find that. And I'll, and hopefully, our boy Bach will we'll be, tra- we'll be traveling with. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay. So, uh, where do you want to drop? Alright. So, oh, we've got like 24 in our pocket, right? We can probably spend on a little something something with that. Uh, let's go check on E.G. and Mariel. See if there's anything interesting. E.G., you got some info? What's going on with the crew? Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? Nope, just the use. That's okay. Uh, and nothing for the upgrading in the moment. Oh yeah, we should probably check out the move set on that thing too, just to see what it does. Oh yeah, that katana. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Where is our fair lady? Which one? Trina? Maxed out for now. Okay. Can't pump the slumber any harder. Right, you need a slumber seven. Indeed, indeed. All right. Falling into the very rare item territory. No worries. How is the Church of Vows doing? Haven't been there in a minute. Uh huh. What up, Pope? Greetings. What's up, Mimi? Do you need anything? How do you spend your days? Oh, we got a few things. Uh, I think these are the same we did, but let's just confirm. To experience the miracle, kneel in mm. the basin. Right. How to forgive yourself? Will be yours. And about Radagon. You know, it's said that Lord Radagon harbored in the closet. Yes. A famed sculptor of the Erd Tree capital was once summoned to render the Lord statue Radigan's with the skeletons and such. Statue, when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radagon's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Mm -hmm. That's what that's it. Yep. Cool, cool. All right, man. All right, we'll leave you with all these blood stains in the area. Well, that's because the the fucker, the bell be the bell bearing fucker, who I hope I hope he's been learned his lesson. I feel like he's been dealt with. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't. Maybe he's persistent. But hopefully he's learned it. Uh, yeah, we want to just make sure we know what's going on on the area to the left over there. And then we've got the big boys waiting right outside the lift. Yes. Happy to be back at the pretty pretty. Yes. The swelling, no goop, the swelling no music. Darkness. Yeah. Beautiful trees. Fucking Caleb, man. Yeah, it's working on me. You know? like, <laughs> I can't wait to get out every single time we go there. Just drop one scarlet lady into the bathtub <laughs> <laughs> and watch the water turn pink. It bubbles and dissolves. Oh. <laughs> You'll be scrubbing out those stains for fucking years. Disgusting. What color is that? No, don't go! Give us the skills! Ash of War Blood Blade! Blood Blade! Not bad. Those crabs are not peaceful. <laughs> Never. They're looking for trouble. Hello. Yeah, oh, is there. Don't get squashed. <laughs> Actually, I've been using your eggs for... Uh, what was I using them for? I think it was for the, the, the blood res the bleed resistance. Come to think of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So... Gonna try to get that fly. I mean, <laughs> I would just let them go. <laughs> They're so annoying. All right, so yeah, this was a pathway we hid. We came from the opposite side, and we saw where the giants were. But oh, he's having a nap. Coming at it from this side. Oh, we've got some what of these riders. Oh, okay. Been a while. Yeah, yeah. The Leonia like pale ride dudes. Okay, so we actually we've just connected the two together. You're chained down. Big jumps. Stop. Gonna have to heal. 
Probably kill the ton of those. And then there's the other one over there. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's actually just a very short little, fairly empty trot up to that, uh, that summon sign we saw. Uh, and then once we turn up there, we go towards the cave. Okay, so not much to that. Let's take it from uh, the Grand the lift. lift. Or let's come from this one. So we can at least get a better view at them. Because mm. that might be... Uh, that might be a little bit of a... Such a nice area. This might be a tricky experience. Depending on... How much that archer wants to get involved. Hmm... If I can, like, pull him back this way and keep him out of sight. Yeah, someone else over there is giving it a shot. Yeah? All right, let's see what we can do. Get that ankle. Da, da, da. Why did the first one take so much off? I don't know. Oh, maybe the ankles are weak for real. There we go. Yep. Ankles are weak. That's where they glow. Okay. Golem's halberd. halberd yeah. We already had one from the capital when we uh, mm -hmm. get that ankle targeted. Can we? No. Come on. Come on. Sneak. Tasty. Ooh. Yeah, the damage it did was kind of big. <laughs> big sneak. And another great bow. We already had one of those too. Yeah? Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right. Now we can exit in peace. I can't wait to get that map piece. Yeah. I can't wait. I mean, you, like, you just live for the next map piece. Yeah. As soon as one is gotten, you just, you don't even care what's going on on it. You just throw it away in search for the next one. All about that so fix. Tempting. Jesus Christ, man. Show me the zooms. Enjoy what's on the map. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. Take the scenic route. Traveling like kings down the main road. Mm -hmm. Paved. Not even in that bad a state of disrepair. No. By a relative comparison. I mean, really, these are just Montreal streets. This is way better than Montreal <laughs> streets. Oh, nighttime. Over here, huh? Okay. Oh. Got it. Find the riders. Yeah. The Night Riders. Which we want to do with a long stick, as, a, <laughs> as opposed to our bare hands, if possible. Camp? Whoa. That's a weird camp. Oh god, it's, it's these freaks. Yeah. Freaky, freaky. Mis- not misbegotten. Uh, I forget what they were called. Oh, I was right. I no, misbegotten. Were? Correct. A shirt bow. And more of those over there. Rock sling. Still standing. Oh, I see you.
Ah, he dodged. Oh, he's coming. Real quick. Man, that step looks good. <laughs> Big fan. It's fun. Big fan. Stone sword key. All right, where's the chest? Mm. Where is the chest? them over there just to patrol party over there not unusual for there to be uh, them nearby whenever there's one of these no chest huh I don't see anyone no wine no chests all right back on the road side road What's beyond the edge? Everjail. Yeah, that's action for us right there. Everjail. Bird. No. Praying. Misbegotten facing. Praying misbegotten. What are they facing? Towards the Everjail. Directly facing it. Wow. Huh. Someone important in there? Must be. No must. Here's a question. Safe pay safe way down. <laughs> I'm always down for the ever jail. Mm hmm Just uh taking names. The tree is also in that direction. That's true. They could be praying to the tree. That makes more sense. Uh, is this too high? There we go. Oh. A nice little side path. Useful, useful. Okay. Do we have a killer in that jail? I hope so. <laughs> and we got our pockets are a little, a little weighty. Not too heavy though. Um, quick scan for some caves. Mm -hmm. This would be a decent place to put one. And maybe a stake of Marika. Oh, there's definitely one nearby. Yeah. yeah. There always is for those. There we go. How about that? Nice. With a wraith collar. Oh, oh, what's happening here? Not paying attention to me. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're dangerous. And we've got the, uh, the vagrant militia. You guys don't like each other, huh? Mm. FTB spout. Big, big bones. Is this... Oh! Does this connect back to Erdtree Gazing Hill? It seems like it does. Yeah, there's a little bit of a valley. Oh, we didn't come here, right? And another camp. Another camp. Okay. One thing at a time. Yeah. Alright, let's not forget about that camp. Yeah. Uh, and then that leads us all the way back. Or it looks like it leads back to... Um, the... Uh, well, I guess I should say the right side of the... The first camp we did clear out. Okay. Yeehaw! Oh, I need some keys. Oh! Golden Lineage Evergen? Requires access? Huh. 
he required a head. But it seems like, will, will it just let me? Hold on a second. The no. imp seal is in effect. Okay. Looks like it's going to be one key. Cool. All right. Two levels of security on this jail. Uh, I used my sip, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, we're, we're not coming in clean. What do we have here? God, God Froy? The Grafted? Okay. Wow. I command thee, Neil. That's another G, right? Yeah. We had Godwin, Godric, Godfrey, and now we have Godfroy. Interesting. Get that stamina back. Oh, oh. Hello. Yo! Ooh. Wind Fury. Okay. Uh oh. Boom. Damn. We good, we good. Oh, okay. Still healthy, still healthy. That was close. Break him. Uh oh. Drink, drink. <laughs> Dude, we didn't see your name anywhere. That was definitely not a name I recognize, yeah. Not enough to be remembered by history? What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Evergel looking mighty free. Godfrey Icon. What's up, Godfrey? Man, who are you? Godfrey. Who are you in the family? And why were you locked up and never talked about? And wh And clearly... You borrowed some moves mm. from someone else in the family. What's the deal? Okay, Godfrey. Uh, let's check the talisman out. Godfrey Icon enhances charge spells and skills. A legendary talisman depicting the Elden Lord Godfrey. Raises charge attack power of sorceries, incantations, and skills. Godfrey was a ferocious warrior. When he vowed to become a lord, he took the beast regent Soroche upon his back to suppress the ceaseless lust for battle that raged within. When he took the beast regent Soroche. Oh, that was a lot of that was a lot of runes, actually. Beast Regent Soroche. Beast Regent definitely sounds... That reminds me of Garank. Mm. Right? Um, okay, hold on a second. Let's 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 do our control Fs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're now definitely within level status. Um, and then let's, let's take a look at some of these names. Uh, uh, but... Okay. But, 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 uh, I wanted to... What did I just do? I made a clip because I wanted to take a look at that. Uh, because I wanted to just see in the fight 
So Godfroy. We did not. The craft. Correct. Correct. Exactly. So that. That's why you 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 you're, you're you're right there with me, yeah. right? We did not get Godfrey's. Uh, uh, we we got Godfrey's talisman, but that's not that doesn't say Godfrey there, yeah. right? We got we got a talisman of someone else from the person we just fought. So like yeah, just get your get your letters correct because yeah. So okay, so first of all, we had the lion armor which symbolizes Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast regent Sorosh. Okay. So Roche Let's take is a the age counselor who guides the golden lineage. All right, one second. Uh, uh, what was the name of the armor? Um, the lion armor. And there was also the golden beast crest shield. All right, let me take a look. So if we can see if there's any actual sign on it. Lion armor? That doesn't. I think that was. Are you Radon's? Radon's lion armor. Yes. Okay. Golden lion said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast regent Sarash. Okay. From the youngest years, Radon is captivated by the Lord of the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Indeed, he was very uh, enamored with Godfrey. Godfroy never showed up anymore. Godfroy, I've never seen. That's that a new name. name. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Beast Regent Sarash. That's the first yes. time we saw that. Uh, there was also a talisman. The Beast Crest Shield that, mens- that mentions Sarosh as well. Beast Crest Shield. Let's do it. The Beast Crest Shield. Golden Beast Crest Shield, rather. Yep. And the beast depicted is Sarosh, age counselor who guides the golden lineage. Ah. Okay kind of a yeah like a hand to the king style position okay so you uh Uh uh-huh that's a that's a beast Mm -hmm. in a very uh, coat of arms kind of styling gotcha okay uh and now we've got this talisman. Godfrey Icon. Yeah. Which uh, raises charge attack power for sorceries, incantations, and skills. Hopefully by a lot. I mean, he looks cool. Uh, very much so. Yep. Ferocious warrior. So... Sarosh is on his back. You can see him, the beast, right there. To suppress the ceaseless lust for battle that raged within him or Sarosh? Oh, uh, I, I want right? to say him, Godfrey. So he took he took the lion on his back to calm his own battle lust yeah. down. Okay. As his counselor. Yeah. Lion is like, chill, 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 bro. chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. Because uh, yeah. that sentence could be read in, in, in two ways. Though. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we know that Godric yeah. was the son of Godfrey. And uh, so what, is our tr- uh, what does our family tree look like right now? Damn. Godfrey up top. Godric. Uh, Godfroy. Um... Godwin. Yeah, that's true. Um, and Godwin, I, we still don't have like that much information. What do him. we have on Godwin? Prince of Death, first dead of the demigods buried, right? And Assassinated at the black at the Night of Black uh-huh. Knives. He defeated Fortisax, the dragon. Defeated Fortisax, the dragon. And Malekith. No, 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 no. Never mind. Uh, that's the assassin's blade. Yeah, Malakut the Black Blade had the rune stolen, and that helped kill Godwin, but we have an idea of who did it. Okay. Not much on Godwin, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's spend these souls. Yeah. Alright, and those are the, and so those are the four that we have. Gods. Yeah. 
<laughs> Godwin, Godfrey, Godfrey. Free, father of Win, Rick, and Froy. Froy sounds like a you're trying to you're trying to get really close to the badassness of Godfrey, <laughs> but you wanted you went one letter off on yeah. that, and now you've got a weird fusion. Your finger wasn't in the right place. You know what's a god? G O D E in French. G O D E. Yeah. No. It's 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 short for a dildo. <laughs> well, that's goofy. <laughs> the more you know. Huh. <laughs> what do we have on us right now? Uh, is it ninety to get us to our next level? <coughs> Thirty more. That doesn't look like thirty k, but it might be. It looks like around twenty five. <laughs> a quick look, quick glance. At a glance, at a glance, <laughs> eyeballing it. All right, we got. Uh, sorry, one eight, one seven, five sixes. One five, two fours, five threes, one two, and fourteen ones. Shit. So, are we good? Oh uh, yeah, this website just takes a while to to plug in. To uh, calculate one by one, these buttons are tiny. Tiny buttons. Twenty six point seven. Youch. I, my eyeball wasn't that far. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. My eyeball was all right. So you need a few more. We got berries. The greatest berry salesman. This side of the lands between. Dude, I have all these fruits and leaves. I don't know what to do with them. I mean, this is <laughs> this is really their usage. Is we're, we're seeing it right here. Oh. Uh huh. Eighty-eight k. Mate, I'm in. I'm here to make arms. I don't know what you want me to do with these leaves. I'm running out of place for them. Try to eat them, didn't work. Try to smoke them, didn't uh, work. Here, <laughs> sell these instead. We're starting to run a little bit lower on those. Gave me a rash. <laughs> Can't get rid of it. Well, maybe these fruits will help. Uh. on the dot. Uh, do we remember who he was whispering to himself about when we caught him earlier in the beginning? In the beginning, because what? America, I think. Was it America? I believe so. Okay, because I'm like, yeah, we got to remember shit from a long time yeah, ago. He was as praying well. to America, I think. Okay, okay. Well, everybody does. So, fair enough. Sometimes you pray to her tits. Mm -hmm. 9400 Back already no matter There we go <gasps> Every time I see these leaves li leave your back, I'm like, damn. Because <laughs> they're because of their crafting usage. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for like the cookbook that will find. I'll be like, oh, arterial leaves can give you like. Uh huh. And when that happens, everything. I'll go back to the places which I've marked on the map and to go farm stuff. Okay. Because I've made more. I've been f doing my my. The map doesn't have enough icons for me to put the information. Yeah. You know, so there's like a hundred, but I've been marking every time something valuable shows up. Um, you know, 
I'm, I'm doing my I'm doing my homework. Uh, like yeah. we, we did find a cookbook for it, but is it one cookbook per ingredient? No, right? Some ingredients you can use for no. different things, right? No, no, no. No? Okay. Anyway, um, I mean, if you want to confirm it, right? There's some cool shit with the perfuming, which I yeah, haven't yeah, done yeah. a ton of. Uh, yeah, you use it for the... Uh, Uplifting... Ally attack power reduces damage. So this was what this was a really good one. Uh huh. You use it for this, uh, as well as this one. This one, yeah. To enter fervor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I, I do know what I'm yeah. selling when I sell them. I'm not forgetting this. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's okay. Yeah. I can get more, and, and you know, I'm not pulling them out super frequently right now. So. Uh, yeah, so maybe if we can, maybe we can find it from the opposite side. Oh, and the strength of that talisman needs to be tested as well. Okay, yeah. With the charge spells. Yeah. Because you know, God forbid you tell us by how much, right? So yeah, I think this is where the cave would be. Which means coming out the cave, we already knew what we saw. So we saw this little thing, and it was just the same encampment where I did the uh, the, the the farming for the the Lane Dell outfit. Uh -huh. So we've connected the dots. All good. Whoa! Hey, relax a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. chill, chill. Don't chill, make chill. us come back there. Sh their aim sucks. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, so uh, we've done this. We've gone all the way up there. Yeah, that's true. We uh, did find a, an ash at some point. True, true, true. What did it say? The blood blade? Blood blade. What does it do? Wound self... To coat a oh, wound self to coat the armament with blood and unleash an air blood, blood blade that causes hemorrhaging can be fired in rapid succession small and medium swords oh is that like a drive it looks like it green blade arc or whatever hmm. um Smaller swords for only, perhaps. Uh, blood blade. Blood scaling. Ooh. Blood misericorde. Sank. <laughs> <laughs> Should update itself. <laughs> Although the word sanguin is, is is usable in English too, actually. Yeah. Uh oh yeah the wheel. We we'll found that pizza cutter. Where did you go? The pizza cutter. Yeah, remember the the yeah the wheel we found at the top of uh, volcano mountain. Yeah. Uh, in the middle, right there. Uh, oh, go back. Yeah, up, up, up right. Up, 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 up. Right down, down. Up, up. Giza's wheel. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh. I'm looking for Misericord. Not this card. pizza cutter. The Misericord. Maybe. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so how does it look? Oh. Okay. It flies forward. Yeah. All right. Just a bit of a, a splash. and an, It has an arc to it, too. Yeah, it's like a drop to it. Very little FP. It's very affordable. Is it a little bit of blood every time? No. One stab, multiple attacks, and then each time you, you do it, 
it's a little bit of life. So as long as you continuously attack, you can um, keep the, the projectiles going for, yeah, pretty pretty cheap. Interesting. Plus you get the blood um, affinity, which, you know, right increases your bleed, so that's always fun. Okay, uh, so we've got this part cleared out. And then we came up this way uh -huh. by the Bower of Bounty. Finger Reader Crone over there, and then this whole pathway, as well as... Yeah, okay. Did we talk to the crone? We did not talk to the crone. Okay. So let's come at it from the front. Go all the way down the road. Mm -hmm. We got tracked off the path towards the Everjail. Yeah. So let's just get back on the path. Let's ignore these big boys. And when it's nighttime, oh ho! Shit will start popping. Where's the action? It's night. There he is. Motherfucker, I didn't get to pull out my. Hmm. <laughs> it's not. I don't. Ah. All right. What's upgraded and strong enough to do some work here? Okay, I guess that's a possibility too. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to upgrade the flagpole and maybe start swinging that oh. around for, for some fun sin, sin-like energy. Uh, yeah. For some good horseback riding. Trina six, still very skimpy on the reach. Yeah. Might put him to sleep with enough work though. Um, Might put the horse to sleep too. May be. Hello. Oh, and he's right behind them. I see. <laughs> Not from this side. I see. Oh, are you looking at us? The sun goes up and the sun goes down. Here. How much come are we doing? It, come and get it. How much are we doing here? I was going to say that's good numbers. It's all right. Ah, you're sturdier than the last time we fought one of those. In comparison. Nice. Whoa, okay. Careful. Is the horse not going to sleep? Nope. Oh, there's Grace right there, too. Holy crap. Yeah, he's flailing, flailing a lot. Calm down, horsey. There you go. more. Whoa! Oh. Oh, look at that damage. Ouch. Still real, still real. Not yet. Ah, you didn't let me do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> the hooves in your face? Enemy failed. Bitch. Our road. Ash of War shared order. Oh. Interesting. 
Just, uh, in my head, I'd like to body. imagine, like... Oh, hold up a second. Let's just... We're surrounded. <laughs> Let's make our way towards that little, uh, little grace we saw. Yeah. The idea of, like, jumping up at horse rider height and punching them in the face <laughs> off of the horse is some of the raddest shit ever. Let's get this tree, actually. Get that seed. I already got it. I guess I already got it. More light. Yeah. Grace. Behold, friend. Angel head. Ooh, does someone appear here? I. The message. Seems to Sounds hit like, like someone that, huh? someone's gonna show up, yeah. Praise the critical hit. Hey, it's Bach and Melina. We found the next spot. Your seamster, Bach. I see him crying from time to time. Oh no! I think he misses his mother. He wants someone to tell him he's beautiful. Does being born of a mother mean one behaves in such a manner? <laughs> Damn. Why is he such a mama's boy? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, Melina. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. It's nice to feel loved, you know? Now, I know I ain't got the money, but... Can you just pretend? Shall I turn your runes to strength? I had so many runes like 20 upon. seconds ago. <laughs> I promise. For but a moment. Share them with me. It's just time, baby. Your ambitions. Your ambitions. Your ambitions. The principles. The principles you would follow. There we go. Principles. Yeah. The principles. <laughs> you would follow. Yeah. I would follow them. Hello, Bok. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. You're a good boy. I have a favor to ask. Master, may I ask you something? Would you mind if I called you Lord? I heard that you and the other tarnished seek the throne of the Elder ah. Lord. Well, I know that you will fake it till you make it, and you'd make just the manner of kind-hearted lord that I'd wish for. Mm. So please, if you would, dress for the job you want. To call you lord. You may call me lord. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> you know what? If he's asking and he wants to, then fine. Yes, nicely too. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. You don't say. It makes him happy. Thank you. Thank you. My lord. My lord. My lord. Please become Elden Lord. And please let I, Bok the Seamster, remain at your side. How about Star Savior? Hey, and you got... A new gesture. A new gesture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My lord. How about it? No? Alright. I got told, like, oh, like, missed opportunity to call yourself, like, a star ally or a yeah. stardust crusader. And I'm like, no, I wanted my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> the point was not to grab my favorite anime there. It was to grab my own thing. I, I think it sounds cool. <laughs> star Savior Woolsworth. Okay. Bach. We're moving along. Going already, my lord. Please do be safe on your journeys. Thank you. But I want to tell you you're beautiful. Bok the In every single way. At your service, my lord. Words can't Ready bring you to down. Adjustments to your garments. Today. <laughs> I mean, woof. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the inner beauty. That counts for something. Right? 
please do be safe on your journeys. Hmm. Hmm. What did we get? My lord. It was, uh... Uh... My lord? Yep. Up, 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 left, left. Is that like a super dab? Like a dab. <laughs> my lord. My lord. My lord. <laughs> wow. That's pretty fancy. Okay. Interesting. This is how I'm going to greet people from now on. Let's go. Yo, what up? My lord. <laughs> Get away from me, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, I regret to inform you that the time of the dab might, long might have come to an end. Shit. It might have come to an end. Sad. Bring it back in 15 years. It's fine. It's all a cycle, right? Everything comes back. Hmm. No. No, new Star Wars. Okay. Low waist jeans. I mean, look, he's pants. still hold I'm still holding it. <laughs> Like, <laughs> glorious. <that's... laughs> Praise the Elden Ring. <laughs> Amazing, you know. But it's it's also it's also a Ginyu Sentai pose. It's also yeah. a fucking, you know, right after you do the cool thing, and the enemy's blowing up behind you, right? Definitely. Okay. All right. Anything else to say, Melinda, there? Or was that just the one? No, that was it. All right. Well, you stay safe, buddy. Stay out of harm's way. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a sketchy area, yeah. despite how nice it looks. You handsome boy. What a beautiful little lad. Oh. Old fan. Whoops. There we go. Dude just got knocked off and confused and what what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> uh all right. What was the name of this spot? Altus Highway Junction. Bach the Seamster. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm comfortable to remove Plateau from the list. Yeah. Gazing Hill as well can go. Much better we're, grace we're here. pushing forward. Let's talk to that uh, finger reader. Corbin is still up there. Uh, and then we've got pushing into this path where your favorite... Your favorite. And then as soon as it's uncovered... Sadness. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'll be strong this time. I'll be strong. <laughs> At least I'll try. Are you guys interesting? Boom, boom. Main road. Likely scarab. Time for a precious item, therefore, behold, bug. Might have already gotten it. Possibly. Since we kind of rode through here a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So, let's make our way. Uh, that is point two. And maybe a good look at what these things are about, huh? They just kind of float in the air. Uh -huh. The virtual banners. Ethereal banners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Hey, ghost. Oh, Earth Tree, great Earth Tree. Oh, the Golden Order itself, unwavering, stretched to the sky. Confer your guidance to our Elden Lord. To put this weary world to rights. You know, when you think about it, if you were going to burn that down, that might end all life in this area. Just in, ju not even for magic reasons, but just in terms of, like, smoke, fume, ash, fallout. Yeah. That might just straight up It'll kill out everything. everything if you light that on fire, because... It's infinite miles high. <laughs> like, you can't survive that level of smoke and just ash. At least without not without hitting a, a fucking a different hemisphere. You know? Um, maybe if you exit the lands between. But boy would that not be a good time. Only you can prevent the extinction of all life. Right? What? <laughs> it's a lot of responsibility. I'm yet to find the noble gold mask. Did you I look for him? He'll be closer to the earth. The path ahead might be parallel. Yeah. Since departing the round table hold, how little it is. I may the golden order. All right, brother. If I shine through you, you mean beat them one by one? <laughs> then yeah. To shine bright like a diamond. Ooh, the beacon. Oh hi. Y'all just chilling? Hello. I didn't want that smoke. <laughs> Hello, gents. Oh, yeah. Smoke break. Smoke break. <laughs> like when you catch the chef, catch taking a smoke. It's like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you want? What do you want? Yeah. I don't worry about it. Oh. Burn. Oh, hello. Hey, love that music. Your fingers, please, your fingers. <laughs> Is a merchant nearby? There, uh, there's a lot going on nearby. I see a teleporter. There's a teleporter, sure. a grace, grace, and a merchant fire. all just behind her. <laughs> Why do they all have to be like that? <laughs> like, the merchants have different personalities. Admittedly, we've run into just about the extent of them so far. But there's like four or five different vibes, not counting the first one who's unique to the Santa one. But all of these hags are fucking done. They're all Enya. They're all the same thing, you know? Ruins of gold Ruins to the west, serpent sacrilege. 
Ruins of gold make sense. It's the, it's, we're moving towards the capital. To the west, Serpent Sacrilege. West of us is oh. Volcano Manor. Yeah, which has a bunch of snakes in it. So, uh, what's up with Snake Lady? Where did she come from? Mm -hmm. Did she come from a bigger serpent? And what was the sacrilege? Right? Right. All right. Finger eater. Jeez. This is a reasonable place for a, a shop. Right? Peace. Wherever the fuck that goes. Every once in a while, a client might pop out of it. Mm -hmm. So this is a very reasonable place for a Construction shop. Construction in the area. Value yeah. going up. Totally. You know? Good spot for a 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. Give me that Slurpee. I ain't, I ain't gonna fucking... Uh, uh, complain about that when some of you guys are set up in the fucking Insul River. Uh, Alright, Bower of Bounty. Right over there. Uh, and Oh yeah, we're on top of the bridge where we um, opened up the, 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 the tower? Remember, remember when... Here. Remember when we did the puzzle for the Mirage Rise? Right. I came over here and I unlocked... Ah. Okay. I unlocked the, the tower by punching the seal over here. Yes. So now we're on top of that broken mm -hmm. structure. Absolutely. Good recognition. Thank you. What up? Oh, dear. Yeah, my, I, terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? What do you have? Festering Bloody Finger, Gravel Stone, Three Stone Swords, a cookbook. Lightning part and roped lightning part. Uh, arrows, bolts, lightning bolts. Lightning bolt. Red crest heater shield. Heater yeah. shields are good. Yeah, a medium sized metal shield. Easier to handle than a kite shield. Crest Bam. symbolizes red wings. <laughs> um, heraldry is fucking cool. The art of reading a crest and designing a flag mm. and um, you know like using the language of design to tell the story of a family or a land or an area is some peak fucking graphic design badassery I love it mm -hmm. it's so cool can you add stuff to crests like after generations and generations and if you so if you if you feel that a story has needs updating told. yeah then you can update that crest That's to in cool. incorporate whatever you need to I absolutely like that idea, yeah. yeah uh it's a canvas you know and and every symbol has its meanings and you know history never stops therefore like if something eventful occurs you, you should probably mark it Sweet. you know moving forward scorpion kite shield a standard medium-sized metal shield, highly reputed for its solid build and reliability. Emblazoned with a yellow scorpion, a warning of surprise attacks and sudden strikes. It's kind of a fat scorpion if you ask me. <laughs> a little chonky. A little bit of an evil lack body going on there, but 100% damage negation. It'll do its job. Kite shield and, and heater shields. Can't complain about those. Cross tree tower shield. That's a pretty good one. I'm a great shield. As well. Shield bash on the second. 30 strength. An iron great shield large enough to cover the entire body. Emblazoned with an old interleaving tree. Great shields boast high damage negation and guard capacity, making enemy attacks easy to repel. Skill the shield bash. Okay. I like the design on that. Yeah. Regular circle. Blue circle draped over a chain mail. The tree insignia emblazoned on the front depicts the earth tree, and it is a design beloved throughout the lands between. Simple homemade uh -huh. mom's gift yeah. surcoat. How about that? I want a tree surcoat costume. Oh, we can make that at home. We got it at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unseen assassin. Okay. A note. That's probably good to know. And imp shades. All right. Let's shop a little bit. Let's uh, grab this, see how that looks. Uh, let's grab these notes. Let's grab this. And let's grab these. Well, we have enough for one. 
Red crest it is. Uh huh. You like berries? <laughs> How do you feel about berries? Oh, uh, I got a bunch from Hugh. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I have more mushrooms than berries now. <laughs> it's now more affordable to sell mushrooms. Yeah. Sure is. There we go. We got about 2k. Let's... 2.2. <laughs> yeah. We can always sell more. Uh, and let's grab this one. That was plenty. So this fire doesn't burn you, by the way. You You're think? Too hot, Willie. Every video game has conditioned me to fear the fire. Ouch! Okay. Just going to work. <laughs> That's me. The very worker. Yep. Ho hum. Very basic. Doing my job. Work, work. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a simple, simple coat. Da -da 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 -da. Where are you? There you are. And then the shield. I'd like to take a look at that design up close for a second. Like it. Yeah, that's a nice texture on it too. And then the notes. Right. And then that painting that we still have to identify over. Oh my god. Not this one, but uh, the other one we found. This one. Eyes out for this somewhere in. The Altus. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Yeah, like the one recognizable thing would be in between those trees on the left side, there seems to be like either a steeple or a statue. Uh huh. Uh, let's keep an eye out for that and then you can probably rotate to find the right angle. Also on the mountaintops, there's two ghost banners. Okay, yeah. So. In the way before, right? Is it right in front of us? Is it on the mountain itself? Uh, we'd have to look around, yeah. but as far as identification goes, those are the three things I'd keep an eye out for. And yellow leaves. Okay, cool. Uh, what does this say? Imp Shades. Nothing can touch the shades of imps in the hero's graveyard. Only Rosas' light can give them form. Ah. Huh. Alright, good to know. If we fight some imps that won't go down. Some assassins cannot be seen with a naked eye. Seems the Earth Tree sentries once carried torches that could cast light on these prowlers. These are both about... Some enemies that we've seen, right? These are both about shining light on enemies in order to deal with them. Uh-huh. All right. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, Earth Tree sentries once carried torches that could cast light on these. Um... Did the Earth Tree Sentries drop a type of torch? I think they did. I think they. Or I think we got um, a special. We have a few torches. We have a couple torch types. One that said that it would repel beasts. Yep, had, that was uh, the one I, I looked at and I, I tested it. It didn't yeah, quite work. Didn't work. Um, but amongst the shields down here, we have this torch category: regular, <laughs> beast repellent, and steel, steel wire for the spitting. Um, so, if anything, I would say. Um, if we can farm the guardians and have a torch drop from them, that type of torch might be the one that would help us with uh, that, cl that clue. Seems to stand to reason. All right. You want to look through this fog and see if we can <laughs> spot the uh, spot of whether or not this is the mountain? That's one sign. Yeah, I guess. 
Uh, if there's another one over there... Beyond the teleporter, maybe? I mean, it would have to get a really good view from far back, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's possible that this is either the left or the right one. I could believe it. So, keep that in mind. So, we touched the race. Let's travel. Where to? Other side of the bridge? That would be tame. Literally the capital. Okay, I like the color of that sky. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, hello. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. Who goes there? There's someone there, right? Absolutely. And a windmill. Oh. We're on the... North part. Even more north. Than oh, we we're... Were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're way across the bridge. Damn. This... That's... Yeah, that's a highway. This doesn't qualify as a bridge anymore. Like, that just becomes... Yeah. Well, a great bridge, I suppose. Holy shit. Shall we find out? And the weather cleared up, so that's nice. You're a dead body? Yes, you are. Those coughing sounds. Okay, regular soldier, I guess? Probably not a regular soldier. I was judging from the hat. The old friend. Never mind. How cool are you? I can't lock onto you. That's good. Wow. The noble gold mask? That could be it. Yeah. Sure is a beaut. Yeah. So, Gold Mask, are you brilliant because you're really, really smart? Or because your face is shining? Do we just stand around here and just uh, king of the hill it? <laughs> Pop yep. a few beers? <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> yep. Too high up. All right. Dragon Moon Grease. Gotta start using that. Straight in the box. Be wary of bear, likely love. Gold mask, huh? You think we should tell our friend that we found him? If this is if this is in fact what we're looking at? You're also like Yeah, you had something fancy on your body before it tattered and withered away, right? Like, around the arms and around the, the waist. Oh, you think these are remnants of... Uh, a golden? fancy golden robe that probably, you know, just withered away over time. I thought it was a belt. You know, the... Well, <laughs> I would have thought so, as is, possibly, but I'm looking at the shoulder and how it kind of looks like there's more of a garment here that's kind of gone now, and you can see the threads, you know? <laughs> Anyway. Oh, he wanted to keep that shit on lock. Yeah. All right. We might have found him. <laughs> hey, hold on a second. Do we have any gestures that look like that? I don't know. Why are you so silent? Did you lose your key? He's got his right hand up. I mean, we got this, but not quite the same.
Hmm. Perhaps not. Praise the Elden Ring. Point forwards, point upwards, point downwards. We don't have anything that looks exactly like what he's doing. Mm. Right? Maybe this? Strength. No. Rally and cry. No. Maybe we have to learn it from somebody. Like the other things, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, some of these are... Like, the solution is a gesture, but you need to find it first. Like erudition. Yeah. Alright, let's leave the man alone. Well, that's a sane teleport. Reason yeah, not too mind-breaking. Reasonable. Right, weapon, weapon. There we go. <laughs> that was scary. Every time that you punch something and like the life bar doesn't go down, I'm like You know that problem right away. Whoa, right. <laughs> Hello. You're cool. Ow, that hurt. Let's go. The coolest step in. Haima Glintstone Crown, Battle Mage Robe, Battle Mage Manchettes, Battle Mage Leg Wraps. We got the full set. That's a nice set. Good luck. Let's go. We got some fortune on that drop. Hell yeah. All four in one, unless it's a scripted event. That's incredibly lucky. The Haima Glintstone Crown. One of the glintstone crowns bestowed upon Raya Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy increases intelligence and strength to the detriment of FP. Scholars mm. of the Haima Conspectus sought the power to quell conflict and to this end studied the sorceries of Cannon Fire and the Gavel. Intelligence okay. and strength to the detriment of FP. Okay, so full set scripted drop. Uh, the reason why I thought possibly not is because sometimes when you're farming, you'll get two pieces dropped off of in one moment ah. instead of just one. Okay. Which makes me think that, like... There's a possibility that you might get all four at a, the same time. They're not count... Like, each... It's not like, you get a reward, let's randomly choose one. It's... Every I, reward has a possibility of dropping. I think so. Okay. Because I've farmed uh, uh, and gotten multiple off of the same kill, you okay. know? So that's that's definitely a, a really rare but possible occurrence alongside getting the altered versions of things. Uh, what is the intensity of this, though? How much to how much? 37 to 39, 63 to 65. That's essentially my build. Uh, for the big hammer. Which we also got. Oh, how much does the FP change by? 152 to 138. Okay, 14. Yeah. Uh, scholars of Haima Conspectus sought the power to quell conflict. Indeed, indeed. Objection overruled. Alright, so you trade off 10% and you gain 4 levels in the places you want them. Uh, what about the body? The Battle Mage Robe. Uh-huh. Whenever war broke out and the Academy sealed its gates, only Haima scholars would dare venture outside. Seclusion is no way to foster discovery. It is only a convenient form of escape. Hmm. So... Unlike that other dude... Mm -hmm. They didn't care. The academy sealed the gates. Uh, Thops was yes trying to get back in. Uh huh. No keys, and he was kind of scared, but he was also, quote unquote, brilliant. Um, but the battle mages were like, "All right, party time. 
No going home. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. And the all shits. I mean, I respect it as someone who's walking the way of the battle mage myself. Mm -hmm. uh, that shit is fucking hype. And the leg wraps. Hell yeah! Back when I was uh, a little bit thinner on the on the defense, I was loving the the look of the wraps. Well, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look, because you know this definitely. Uh, does things to my build that are uh, in my interest. Yeah. But Drip is also in my interest. And as predictable, you might be saying to yourself, uh, Wooly won't do this because he wants to <laughs> fashion first. And you'd be goddamn correct. I mean, I don't know if you know, but like... The difference between enjoying, like, the fashion of, uh, ability and, like, having choices in that in a game, that's, like, a full point up or down in the score of the game in my brain. Oh, wow. It's huge. I really care about how I look. <laughs> and I really like third-person <laughs> games. And I really don't like when I'm first-person and I don't get to enjoy that. You can't see the stuff. And you're talking about a fundamental thing I enjoy about the concept of a video game. Like, base level pleasure. Yeah. You know? Aesthetics. Base level. Like, I like seeing a character and enjoying with it. It's the same joy you get from playing with a toy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's an, like, playing with your little action figure. <laughs> it's, it's right there. So, uh, I was really happy when uh, Metroid Prime let us see little moments of Samus and, and, you know, oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, okay. So, uh, the upgrade comes specifically from the helmet, right? Not the, yeah, not the body. The it's just the helmet. Nah. How would it look? Ah. <laughs> how would it look? Reggie, you know how it looks. Why are you even going to ask that? Uh, I was doing the Mount Gelmiers, actually. Not the Mount Gelmiers. I was doing the, uh, the Fire Prelate, I think. One of these two for the for the medium load. Uh, since the bull the bull was getting a little heavy, um, yeah, you fucking you know, you know. <laughs> what are we gonna do there, man? Come on, nah. come on. Unfortunate. <laughs> Did you see that cool piece of art of her doing the punch that uh, I retweeted the other day? Like, it, like, um, fucking. I'll find it. Yeah. Full, full shout outs and, 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 and credit where it's due. If you can, if you, it, it should be like at the top, but it's like, that, that makes, that's cool. That's a, such a cool look with the hood and everything. Um. Oh, ho. Oh, yeah, this thing. Square up, homie. Permia per. Thank you so much. Yeah, check my Twitter to see the uh, to see the piece there. Yes, Permia per. Right, and that's the that's the what the energy in my head of of what I'm wearing. You know, so like, try to understand where I'm coming from. Very nice drive. I like it. You know? And as long as you understand that that's the aesthetic, then, like, you understand why I'm reluctant to that's change. That's right. What's going on? Oh, they're still crawling. Why are you here? Not doing too good. Shall we hit the lighthouse? Oh. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. Pop, pop.
Or this West Windmill Pasture. Did I say lighthouse? Yes. I meant to say windmill. I see. I was like, where is he gonna bring me? <laughs> Let's go. Don Quixote. Oh, wow. Whoa. Through the boards, all bloodied up. Giant rash ashes. We can call in the rats. Not only is it a windmill, but it's actually got like the little grain. It's like, it's like, uh, not grain silo. It's, like, it's, it's got the little storage uh, bar next mm -hmm. to it to show you like where they put the stuff. Uh, let's check out these ashes, because if you guys can poison up some fuckers... I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, you'd be down. What do we have? Summon Summons three giant rats. <laughs> spirits that do not require FP to summon. Woo! The rat spirits appear at a distance from the summoner, swarming upon their victim to start the fight. Even as spirits, these vermin seem to multiply endlessly. Now hold on a minute, because the the, the poison the poison farters are they cost eight excuse me, they cost HP. Oh okay. But are these just free? I uh, apparently They sound like they're free. And enhancing these ashes can increase the number of rats. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh okay, that that could be interesting. It's not about like it's more about the distraction, right? If you can get a pack of fucking rats just rolling through, like that's a lot of aggro distraction in different directions. Um and they probably melt insanely quickly, but in some circumstances just keeping the attention off of you is benefit enough. Interesting. That's worth exploring. If they, especially if they only take a, a grave and not ghost, uh -huh. then we can afford that. Huh. No inside then, I guess. Oh, I can't climb the windmill? I guess not. Or see the mechanism inside? No windmills, no giants. There's another one over there, too. Oh, uh, where's the threat? Oh, that rat up there. Okay. It's coming. Watch out. Yeah. West Windmill Pasture. Okay. Let's check out the East Windmill Pasture. Not yet fall into the rats. What? The fuck? Are they dancing? And laughing? Cackling old ladies? Having a party! Whoa! What is happening? Is it one of those uh, middle-aged Okay, dances? okay. Now hold on a minute. This party has hard lock-ons. <laughs> Am I gonna spoil the party by approaching? East Windmill Pasture. Having a good time. What? Uh oh. Oh shit. They're just having a good time. Navy set, noble set. A navy hood, nice. Twin, Twin knight swords. A pair of swords. <laughs> All right, ladies, don't mind me. These are the these. It's like the the ones that were like cackling behind the door in Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'll tell you the party. 
Oh, he's stuck outside, you poor soul. Don't mind me. All right. Yeah, this reminds me, like, uh, in Middle Ages, sometimes people would play music and they would just go in a trance and go crazy. Oh, yeah. And people would travel, like Tarantel, just traveling around town to town, dancing for um, days on. So the, the, the dancing plague yeah. that caused deaths. Yeah. Yes. I read about that. People suddenly, spontaneously started dancing in the streets and couldn't stop themselves after like one person started it. Mm -hmm. And it was just this weird phenomenon that resulted in people literally dancing themselves to death out of exhaustion. And no one can explain what it was or why. Yeah. Um, and what the fuck happened. Sometimes the beat is too good. Now there's theories and every time a theory like this pops up, I kind of go, yeah, possibly. Where Maybe. it's like, um, I think there was like a yeast like poisoning. Oh shit. And some people might have consumed some fucked up food. And Bad like, yeah, and some of the rot just hit that drug high in the right way. Damn. Yeah. Kind of like the stuff about like, you pop some mushrooms without even knowing it and saw God. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of pop mushrooms, you tripped, and then you came and t told us what you saw. And fast forward a couple thousand years and here we are. <laughs> like, it, 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 I, it's totally, totally plausible that like, you know, the rotten rye made people just have some kind of fucked up thing go on and yeah. then the dancing just triggered a response in multiple that people until stuff. they fucking died. It was it's crazy. You know? And like whenever things historically like that happen and it's all localized in one area and then like never again, you know, it it it, it definitely is worth investigating what they ate. You know? What they drank. Twin Night Swords, an attractive twin blade of fine make that prizes the chivalric way. Can be wielded with a single hand, but its true strength is unlocked with dual-handed spinning attacks. Okay, not a, not a, not twinned Night Swords, but a twin blade. Okay. <laughs> cackle, cackle. Um... And we had the set with the navy hood. Just and making sure they're never gonna like. Is the moment they all stop and start walking towards me? <laughs> that's the question, right? They merge together. That's that's the problem. So that looks so nice. Yep. Very elegant. <sighs> A hooded cloak of deep navy, worn by expatriated royalty, increases mind. Such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on missions to faraway lands from which they would never return. But what choice do they have, having seen the guidance of grace? What a beautiful hood. Those who departed on missions to faraway lands from which they would never return. But grace guided them, so they had to do it. You're going to give me one point of mind. And six of FP. That's what it translates yeah. into. Yeah. Yeah. And then? The noble traveling garb. Traveling attire fashioned from metallic white silk thread worn by expatriated royalty. A gift of such rare beauty, a royal wouldn't disgrace their illustrious heritage even if found dead in a ditch in the middle of nowhere while wearing such splendid rights. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Now why would these old ladies or the exploding uh, ghouls surrounding them have murdered uh, a noble from a faraway land. Mm. Hmm. Good question. Because that's exactly where we found them. Hmm. Found dead in a, in, a, in a not a ditch, but <laughs> with people not too upset about that, you know? Around a fire or something? Was that where These ladies seem to be pretty happy about this noble being dead. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. It doesn't match what I'm wearing at all, but it's 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 beautiful. Very, very nice. Very beautiful. I would gift it to Melina or something, you know? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's some high board shit. <laughs> yeah, look at- yeah, that's clean. Definitely. Y'all don't care about me wearing this, do you? I mean, your shit's not that bad yourself. No, 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 no. It's- it- it's dirty now, but it didn't used to be. Look at their mouths. Oh, yeah. Deep smile. Grinning. <laughs> well, is that blood? Oh, my. You think they might have eaten? We saw some cannibals earlier, didn't we? Yeah. We saw a few. Whatever's making them hungry, why wouldn't it affect these ladies? There's clearly a plague of cannibalism going across the capital. Or out the plateau for some reason or another. We don't know the source of it yet, but wouldn't it stand to reason that the blood on their mouths is related to that? They're eating the ones with the very heavy pockets. <laughs> Perhaps. Is this a commentary? Perhaps they exactly. literally ate the rich. I don't know. Yo. I don't know. Personally, I'm not interested in literally eating anybody, for the record. Uh, where is my fire? What if it tastes different, though? You can enjoy it, Reggie. I won't be partaking. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Quite, quite satisfied. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if it's keto, you know? <laughs> it probably is, but don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll play a little game of dress up later, but oh, oh, we gotta find yeah something that matches with. We gotta find the energy. Surely there's energy in here somewhere. You know, I'm not sure where. I'm not sure how, but there's a way to complement this. <laughs> you know, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, but I don't want that other cape to cover it, though. Yeah, you'd, well, then you'd have to go take it off, yeah. right? You can put the flesh underneath, certainly. Uh, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Let's not waste too much time. <laughs> as much as I love it. As much as I love it. You know me and my character creators. I find a nice piece of, of, of clothing and I want to just fucking play this game all day. You know? Yep. We're stopping. We are uh -huh. stopping. Let's stop. Oh, it even gets super narrow depending on the. Yep, depending the on the piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. All right. Enough shopping. Have fun, girls. Have fun. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Mm -hmm. Two windmills. Alright. 